the delegates coming from different parts of the world and especially thanks to the chairperson and co-chairperson of this auspicious occasion. It's my immense pleasure to attend this fifth edition of traditional medicine conference and I thankfully acknowledge the invitation made by these organizers. And I also thanks and pay my respect to my teacher, guide, and friend and philosopher, Professor Dr. S.K. Chatterjee, who uh, we have lost him in during COVID-19 at the age of 90, before going to in, uh, uh, end our project under Department of Science and Technology. I, mu I must thank to Dr. Watnis, Sally, and other Indian scientists who came to lecture some medicine and medical plants. And in all the lectures, we have mainly seen that the, the use of medicine and plants in different ways, articulating different ways. And also, Dr. Courtney's mentioned especially the standardization, very, very important standardization and how to identify the important biomolecules, very important. I am going to uh, give some lecture on some common aspect done under the Department of Science and Technology project last 15 years. Uh, that is, first of all, you know that the medicinal plants is a very much safety, the products of medicinal plants safety than the unsafe of synthetic ones, you know why. We must mention that out of four, out of five children with leukemia survive thanks to the biomolecules being Christine, being uh, blasting, donated by Catherine Sarosias. Millions of people with heart ailments depend on digital sparpiuria. Many suffer hypertension and high blood pressure. Uh, and owed uh, debt to the Indian snake wood, Raulvia Sartrentina. In this way, so many plants are there, we have to identify them and we have to conserve them properly for the welfare of the rural people. Main centers of traditional medicine, African traditional medicine, Chinese traditional medicine, Indian, classical, Arabian, American, Australian, and uh, European traditional medicine. You know, to conserve the medicine and the plants, there are so many declarations, Chiang Mai declarations, Oak Map, all Congress on medicine and plants, uh, medicine and plants of human welfare, veterinary sciences, who, especially who people depend on traditional medicine, 75 or 80 percent people, so we have to conserve them and every nation with their agroclimatic condition, we have to conserve them, cultivate them. We have to conserve them. Hello, hello. And cultivate them. And botanical gardens, conservation international, national medicinal plant board. Role of medicinal plants in societies also somebody mentioned there. They are even in most societies, some medicines are very much important, uh, especially for acute conditions and allopathic medicine and traditional medicines for uh, symptomatic and reduce the quality of life of having used them regular foods and uh, also contain vegetables and fruits. In many cases, medicines are necessary because of uh, pharmaceutical drugs and on, unaffordable and having side effects. 
Besides, we have used, we have been using phytomedicines, cosmetica, nutraceuticals, etc. Especially utilization essential oils, aromatic compounds is there. That's why phytopharmaceutical and veterinary medicines may be obtained from them, repelling insects and help larval growth, used as neurotoxic aromatherapy, toiletary products, agro-based industry, reducing soil erosion and combat pollution used in social forest program. Some of the common medicinal plants I want to mention used by the common rural people of West Bengal for their common and specific type of diseases as raw herbal products like skin, carcuma, as a director skin, skin, Santalam album, in addition, Catharanthus roseus for common diseases, for gloriosa superba for specific diseases, Gimenima sylvestri specific diseases, especially uh, anti diabetic, Gimenima acid, Terminia urgina, especially for cardiac problem, Hygrophila spinosa, especially for blood purifier, Osimo sanctum already mentioned, Dr. Singhania. Toxinia indica also anti-diabetic, agal marmalus laxative and gastrointestinal diseases. Some gastrointestinal diseases also used in uh, by uh, Cassia Sena, Embolica officinalis. It is a vitamin C, cough and cold. Very very important allium sativa, also mentioned by Dr. Singhania. Very useful antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, cough, cold, influenza, anti-cholesterol. Etc. Besides, you know, the justicia is also a respiratory, the stomach, pipe, pipe, lung, liver disease, andrographis manipulator, heart disease, especially, and Ralphia serpentina. Now, I am going to conservation status of medicinal aromatic plants. Medicinal aromatic plants have immense uses not only in medicine, but also in uh, cosmetic and perfume, perfume industries. It is urgent to follow the different recommendations uh, uh, for, the, for their uh, conservation, for the rural people, and also for the industry. Uh, and all of them uh, came to bring together, came to know and uh, uh, let us, uh, we should bring together information on identity, distribution, and conservation status, gather information how they are used in local traditional knowledge, should gather information on the extent they are harvested in wild population, gather information on their cultivation and propagation, and also agronomy cultivation in post harvest area, a protected area. Ethno medicine, medicinal, medi uh, veterinary medicine purposes, economic sustainability of plant procurement through wild collection, domestication, and cultivation must be secured through transparent costing and pricing that will provide ample opportunities for rural generation, income generation, and com community development. Indian flora, you know, the estimated about. 20% of the global flora. According to one estimate, three-fourths of over 5.5 billion people of the world afford pharmaceutical industries. And also India on a current estimate represents about 3,500 3, species that are medicinal values more than 80%. Indian medicinal plants are collected from 70 million hectares of land. The state of West Bengal is gifted with enormous wealth of diversity and uh, species with concentration of hard shops and trees with rich pharmaceutical insecticidal, perfumery and toiletry substances. But our unfortunate lack of real-time data based on acceptable and statistical basis stands as imp impediment for any long time and prospective planning. Some case studies with West Bengal condition in relation to many cinematic plant cultivation will throw some problems to think over 
West Bengal enjoys a good climate condition for cultivation of rice and grass. Topographically, temperature range, varied soil conditions, working skill growers, and other conditions for flourishing medicine because is very important. I, we have to, in order to preserve the natural resource of medicine and grass in the area, along with their sustainable use and their commercial exploitation or welfare of the rural people in the area where the main cultivation, that is cereals, rice, wheats, are not they were cultivated, cannot be cultivated due to barren, due to wastelands. And in that area, we are trying to uh, grow the plants uh, for the welfare of the rural people. Uh, and in this study, we have done the conservation and commercial exploitation, uh, both South Bengal and North Bengal hilly area, and survey of natural uh, resources of medicine and genetic plants, proper identification of the species growing locally and their uses by the local people, observation to know the causes of depletion and loss of plants, conservation strategies of medicine and genetic plants, agrotechnology, and economics of cultivation for scientific growing of a few medicine and genetic plants in the area and promotion of medicine and plants in the area. One of the important attempt we have done that how the biomolecules are produced in the plants. There are some growth and development of physical, how they grow and what are the facts uh, developed in the metabolic uh, status. How in the different stages of their life cell from germination to senile, different stages of life cell, different metabolites are produced. And the, that metabolites are connected with the formation of cellular metabolites. In that case, in which growth, in which stages, uh, the maximum content may be found, we have noticed. Role of environment, you know, the environment and the biological uh, and genetic, uh, biological pattern, the genetic environment, uh, 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 jointly uh, done internal processes and regulated hormones and enzymes as a result of organic development the result. Two species, Simbopogon and Simbopogon martini, we have done some uh, experiments for conservation in rural areas, culture, uh, cultural experiment, fertilizer experiment, photoperiod experiment, experiment or hormonal status, Different development of phases, very important, where I understand the vegetative phase has been identified from germination stage up to the initiation of part. Reproductive phase from the initiation of part up to approximately 20% part, 70% flower, and 10% fruits. Very important and uh, gigantic work. The post reproductive phase, after reproductive phase, up to 95% fruits and 5% flowers. Senile phase. After post phase, up to the period when 75% of the leaves yellowed. Growth and development of behavior, essential synthesis in the, the, uh, in the above mentioned uh, experiments, analysis of important metabolites connected to essential synthesis, analysis of major chemical constituents of the oil during different developmental stages. Correlationship among growth, development, metabolism, and essential information, analysis of yield of harvest and oil per hectare, economics and cultivation of the plants also studied. This, this is the area of West Bengal. Some studies in the Gangetic side, South Bengal. These are the plants used by the local people for calf and coal, body brain, elementary system, memory hair problem, liver problem, skin disease, cuts and wounds, and these are the plants which are depleting day to day. And we have uh, found that how they are, they are depleting natural and biotic factor or either natural or either biotic. These are the plants. In this way, we have done some works which plants should be uh, grown there uh, for better use and for the commercial cultivation. We have done preliminary studies with the different agrotechnology. So for each, uh, four essential plants, hemopogon flexus, so that is lemon grass, 
উইন্টার নিয়ে আসা নিয়ে আসা যেমন সিটোনেলা মেনথা পাইপের একটা অসীমাম প্রাসিলিকা ইন দা লেটার স্টেজ আই ডিউ টু শর্টেজ অফ টাইম ইন দা লেটার স্টেজ আই উইল টেল ইউ ইন দা কনক্লুশন দা রেজাল্টস ফোর মেডিসিনাল প্লান্টস আর হ্যাভ বিন স্টাডি এন্ডোগ্রাফিসপানিকেলোটা অ্যাডোটোটাকাসিকা সেন্ট্রাল আইসিটিকা ক্যাথালেন্টাস রোজিয়াস Results of growth and development of physiology in relation to synthesis of essential oils and economics of cultivation of aromatic classes in gangetic plants, which faces their earnings. The effect of treatments of li on leaf formation, dryer accumulation, and the essence of in lemon gas and pumice during different, different phases. The results will be shown later on. Duration of development of phases. How much days? They, are de uh, they, are, uh, they exist, vegetative, reproductive, post and uh, And the uh, essential formation in different developmental stages, uh, the percentage. And uh, duration of senile phase, as well as essential, essential formation. And synthesis of essential oil since in relation to different metabolites, like nitrogen, soluble nitrogen, carbohydrate, which may be channelized to the formation of essential oils. Then formation of essential oils under varying effective treatments with different development of phase of lemongrass and pomodoro grass. And also citral and geranial content in different developmental phases. Also found how the economic cultivation uh, is resulted of lemongrass and pomodoro grass per hectare per an average of five years about 55,000 and uh, 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 45,000 and 90,000 in case of 45,000 and 90,000 and total return one lakh 10,000. These are the um, aromatic plants and uh, byproducts. South in North Bengal, so uh, studies in the North Bengal, the phenological assessment of abundance, aromatic traits, all, all things are done under DST project. Six and anti-diabetic target species have been identified, gymnema, swercia, atharanthas, andrographis, toxinia, diasporia. Hypoglycemic and hyperlipidic properties of species are determined clinically, conservation and... Yes, yes sir. sir. Conservation of this uh, uh, and cost benefit ratio were uh, conducted in four agroecological zones Eastern India and Himalayan, Sub Himalayan, alluvial, laterite, different agroecological zones having distinct topographical features. These are the agronomic studies and the phenological studies and hypoglycemic anti diabetic studies. Physicians uh, given the data and uh, region wise decline in 10 year study. Then the agronomy, agronomy in monoculture, only that culture, then uh, with the other uh, types of plants, the cost-benefit ratio results, phen uh, phenological and agronomical studies reveal that positive response is favoring large-scale cultivation. And it has been noted that the gymnosphere sister uh, flourished in lateral soil and Suresia, uh, Chiroga, uh, and other remaining uh, laterite and sub Himalayan zones. And these are the conclusion uh, about four plants which are available in congenetic plants of South Korea and medicinal plants widely used by the local people. And we have uh, done uh, uh, to check the depletion medicinal plant garden in school colleges and different parts. Biotic pressure is very important, especially exploitation and excess uh, cultivation. And specific requirement of agronomic inputs have been given, role of different agroecological conditions, different agroecological zones, relation between growth and essential oil synthesis, definite role of reproductive phase, morphological and biochemical indexing of the essential formation. Clinical studies clearly reveal that gymnoma sylvestri and suercia chiroda are proved to be efficient anti-diabetic plants. Economies of cultivation also showed prospect of commercial exploitation of these anti diabetic plants in North Bengal for welfare of the people. Science and conservation should be done 
expansion should be done, generation of quality printing materials should be done, establishment of processing, distillation units in suitable places with easy access of rural people, expansion of dissemination of agrotechnology, establishment of training centers in policy and university, establishment of cooperative societies, establishment of coordinated research projects, farmers, traders, government, non-government organizations. And on that uh, glass, which is very important for Western reclamation for COP and the cost of cultivation is very low and which is agro forestry industry, social forestry industry. And so, and this plant is very important and very popular in our area and large scale cultivation are going on by the farmers and they fetch money, income generation. This is the essential oils. Uh, and this, uh, this way we can suggest different ways uh, they can uh, improve the cultivation and the authors we are grateful to different authors of India and abroad and these are the some uh, pictures or efforts with scientists in conclusion is worth mentioning that the urgent need of the hour is sincere cooperation and coordination among scientists, policymakers, traders, and farmers, instrumental for the successful promotion and development of medicinal aromatic plants in a particular agroclimatic region with appropriate agro technology, fulfilling the needs of herbal medicines in healthcare, preserving biodiversity, as well as export demand of herbal products in one hand and reclamation of West Bank wasteland, thereby uplifting rural economy on the other. Remember, we will not live forever, but what we will do for the nature, for the welfare of the society will remain forever. Thank you. Okay.